So I wanted to do something special today with y'all. I wanna take you to my favorite bookstore I've ever been able to regularly go to. It's right here in Columbus, Ohio, and Maddie and I are gonna go on a little trip and show you the bookstore that has become my go-to one-stop shop for picking up the books that I frequently read here on the channel. No, I don't get every single book there. A lot of them I do an audiobook, some of them I do, you know, e-read. But if I have a physical one, most likely I either picked it up for there or it was sent to me by somebody. There is gonna be some audio inconsistencies here in this video, and that's just because either there's music in the background, I'm trying to hide it, or you're outside. I'm also trying to whisper at times because I'm trying to be respectful and I don't wanna get thrown out of my favorite place to buy books on earth. So I've done my best to compensate for that but there's gonna be some indiscrepancies here. Without any further ado, let's go on an adventure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys to what I thoroughly believe is the greatest bookstore in the world. No hyperbole, 100% accurate. The bookstore in the world is bring a companion. Step two is get in a car. Oh, that has my license plate. I was gonna say, I'll just go. <laughs> Step four, drive there. Then park. We're good. If you have the sound of a hospital bed dying, my car is properly parked. It'll also probably help you to live in Ohio or preferably even Columbus would be, would be a good start. Um, but then drive to German Village. Make sure you did not lose your companion. And then arrive at the book loft. Oh, the book loft. So one of the first things you'll experience when you arrive at the book loft is their wonderful little walk up with tables and chairs so you can take your book and sit, maybe grab a maybe grab a coffee from next door and just have a nice little afternoon reading. The only issue is I seem to always arrive here when it's raining. Fortunately today that curse did not continue. They proudly declare on their Twitter page that they have over half a million books and I believe they're able to achieve this by having some of them in an outside pavilion hard to fit half a million books in even 32 rooms. Great selection at the book loft. Joe Abercrombie promptly on display, hardcover. Illustrated editions of the George R. R. Martin Game of Thrones, which, duh. 32 rooms of books, all of them beautiful. T-shirts, some of which funny, some of which deep literature cuts. I don't own any, I should probably get one. That's, that's something I should do. So I've actually recommended a few subscribers that have messaged me personally uh, when they're going to be in Columbus, what bookstore they should go to, and I've always recommended this one. They all said positive, great things about it, um, but one of the things I like most about them is they have a whole lot of collections and different editions. Like if you go to their Sherlock Holmes, a whole lot of different Sherlock Holmes collections, just various Stephen King collections of all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for to get started with a series and grab like the whole series, absolutely good way to go. Um, but let's go ahead and check out the fantasy section. Started. Mm -hmm. You started. Mm -hmm. You started. You sure? I have. It's there's like the numbers counting up. We are live. We're live. <laughs> I don't think we're live. I think it's recording. I'm picking up two because I couldn't walk in here and not pick up two. But they have an amazing selection of fantasy, starting with a whole lot of Game of Thrones, which or a song of ice and fire, which would be expected. Followed by a shelf of Tolkien, various editions covering a nice selection. A whole lot of Patrick Rothfuss, which actually kind of surprised me this year amount. Mm -hmm. Wheel of Time, and then a scattering of all below. They come this way. I am hard pressed to not find an author I expect to find here. I mean, we have Sam Sykes, but we also have, I mean, we have Michael J. Sullivan, anyone you could expect. The only thing that surprises me is their Sanderson selections, a little small, but that's not that big a deal. Turn around, Maddie. We also have an entire wall of Stephen King, which I appreciate deeply. Um, coming on over here, again, Joe Abercrombie, a whole lot of Dresden files. Actually, yeah, an entire shelf of Dresden. And then you have, you know, you gotta have your Star Wars, your just popular franchises. Tend to be just relegated here. Some additional Wheel of Time. And then just again, an entire wall of fantasy. Uh, not many copies of the books. I think they just replace them really quickly. But there is just a lot of a selection here. So if you're in the Columbus area, it's a fantastic place to come get your box. They also have an absolutely ridiculously large autographed copy section. I've gotten multiple autographed copies from this bookstore, including Black Record Red Wolf and one other, I forget which though. 
So now I kind of want to take you through these rooms I mentioned. It's hard to do because I was asked not to record customers, which again, I completely understand. You don't want me filming you when you're out and about. So there's going to be some hard cuts here, but there really is 32 rooms here for you to explore of books. And it's incredible. It's such a nice vibe of just actually being lost in a maze of books. I love wandering in here for hours. It seems like every time I do, I discover something new. My only caution would be if you're severely claustrophobic, there might be a couple rooms that'll bother you because some of their rooms are essentially closets that have been turned into, and here's more books. Uh, this place would honestly be incredible to film like a little horror movie in, but I'm not saying their vibe is not fantastic. It's just that maze-like and almost disorienting in the most wonderful way of just being lost in literature. I've never failed to find a book here. Their selection of all genres truly is stunning and the people are always so eager to help and so polite. Anyway, just enjoy wandering the shelves for a little bit before I do my nerdy little outro. And of course, the entire experience is a little bit nicer if you bring along a companion. If you wanna know where I get most of my books I review, right there. So I would just like to end this here by saying thank you again to the book loft for letting me film in there. I went up to the guy at the front desk and said, hey, can I film? He said, as long as you don't have big equipment, it's on your phone, go right ahead, just don't film the customers. So if you see some of those sharp cuts, it's because I was avoiding you know, filming people. And I totally get that. You don't wanna be in a bookstore getting filmed by this asshole. I also absolutely want to mention that their prices are for sure competitive. In a lot of stores I go into and compare prices to Amazon and then we'll order from Amazon if it'll save me a bunch of money. I rarely, if ever, have to do that at the book loft because they're constantly having sales. They're constantly having books that are just reasonably competitively priced. So if you're concerned that going to a smaller bookstore is going to be more expensive, I don't find that to be the case, especially since a lot of times stuff is marked five to 10% off. But this really is a magical place to go shop for books. There's actually a couple great bookstores here in Columbus, but the book loft won out for me. Uh, not because of just what it is, but their area around it. German Village is gorgeous. Some of the best coffee shops in all of Columbus as well. Uh, it's it's worth me making all the drive all the way from Dublin, Ohio, down to German Village uh, just for the experience. It's a great way to spend a lazy afternoon. Get a book, go to a coffee shop, and just do some reading. It's a good way to just unwind and, and meditate the day away. I will have the Book Loft's Twitter and address and everything linked down below. If people want a road trip to it, go check it out because I think it's worth a little pilgrimage. But anyway, y'all, if you have not already, like and subscribe. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And have a good one, y'all. Peace.